Yeah, we live and direct right now. Okay, check it right now, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Shalom Makiyam out there. First and foremost, before we start, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai. That's the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Deron said, Apostles, a great millstone and a piece of mercy to elect Ba'ashem, Yahweh Uh And as you can see, the title of the video is uh, Great Millstone, the Camp That Do Not Extort. Uh, the brethren, all right. Um, and through the spirit of the Lord, us brothers able to get together, we're going to just go up on it, go in on it. Because one thing, one thing that you cut, you have to uh do when you come to this truth, the scriptures talk about it, you got to put off the old man. So, if you was a man in the world that was a uh, stealing and you know to get by for whatever your carnal and pleasure needs, when you come to the truth, that has to be reversed with and it has to be replaced with faith. It got to re be replaced with faith. You can't be doing that. You know, we all know that the situation with them guys, these other camps, these guys are fucking stealing from each other. And, and we don't do that over here in Great Millstone, man. Because one of the, the, the things that the two of the main reasons why we are, we're jacked up in the situation that we're in today. Why is because we mm -hmm. followed the woman. And then the other one was the, the love of money. The love of money. That's the two main things, really, that 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 took us away from the other. That love of money and and um and that woman, man. You know, so over here, at Great Millstone, that's not tolerated. That's not tolerated. Stealing from each other. That's out. You are you out there. You're fucking out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're stealing from each other, man. Yeah. Because this brother got more money or the case. Like like I just said. That old man of stealing it needs to be replaced with faith. When you have faith, you believe in the Lord that he would sustain you mm -hmm. to where you ain't got to steal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. 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 Hey, hey, shalom up to the brothers that's tuning in. Hey, the brother Barack, man, much love to that brother, man. One of the brothers that, you know, um, through the spirit of the Lord is an example not to fucking steal, you know, amongst us out here. Yep. But let's get that Timothy's real quick. Huh. This is uh, First Timothy's. Chapter six, and I start at verse mm -hmm. um, I start at verse six, bro. Mm -hmm. It says, "But godliness with contentment is great gain, mm. for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out." And that's one of the many things that makes you don't steal, like like when like like if you have the fear of the Lord in you and you and it's in you, you it makes you not steal. Mm -hmm. You think about the consequences behind it. Mm -hmm. You think about how you're gonna make this brother, you're gonna make this brother go into some type of depression because you know he's lacking because you stole from him mm -hmm. you know what i mean all that stuff is wickedness you know what i mean we're not this the, the heavenly father wants us to take care of each other not steal from each other you yeah. know what i mean by stealing you could put another brother in a in a in a bad situation right yeah. to right where now he's going through something he's stressing you know mm -hmm. he might have problems uh with his with his wife now because because what you did yeah you know he's in debt he might get his car repossessed anything man mm -hmm. you know, a, a light turned off or some shit like that mm -hmm. his gas or whatever man mm -hmm. you know yep yep that's right right there bro you go bro yep it says for we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out bam so we understand that mm -hmm. and like like the brother said they don't want they these other kids they there's no fear there like if i steal from this brother I'm looking over my shoulder, seeing that what the most high finna hit me with a lightning bolt out of the yeah. sky or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But see, when the, when the Holy Spirit is, is dealing with you, you see that the most high doesn't wait to um to judge you, man. He doesn't wait. He he jack you up quick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the that's why that's what it is. The fear of the Lord keeps you from stealing. Yeah. But if this fear of the Lord is not in you, you will easily steal from the next man over or become envious or covetous of this man yeah go ahead Oc. yep it says verse 8 and having food and raiment let us be there with content bam having food and raiment let's be content mm -hmm. whatever you got whatever you have you have to be content with it 
Now, brothers have different levels of what they have. Yeah. Brothers may have more than the next man. But whatever the most I dealt you personally, that's what you be content with. That's what you be content and be appreciative. Mm -hmm. you Because know? it's the Lord that gave it to you. you know? Yep, yep. Hey, bro, let's it just be a good job. That, um, time to drop that uh, what's the chief things for life real quick. Just that okay. quick one. Yeah. Because this is all you need right here. Go ahead. Yep. All right, so this is uh, Sirach 29 and 21. It says, the chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to cover shame. So you got to think to yourself, do I got shoes on my feet? Mm -hmm. Do I got a shelter over my head? Do I got, I can eat, am I eating? That's all you need, man. Mm -hmm. You don't need the mansion, all right? You don't need the Bugatti. You don't need all that extra shit. All that's going to be destroyed when America be destroyed. All you need is the, the, the little simple things so that you could be able to do the work of the Lord so that you could be able to hold faith and wait for the Yahweh shot. That's it. Mm -hmm. But see, these other camps, what happened was covetous entered into there, which is a form of Satan um, and uh, uh, covetousness. And then it, it, it turned into thievery. Yeah. You know, all because they 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 they. They want the bigger house. They want the car. They want the, you know, they want to be able to go out with a woman at will. You know what I'm saying? To go spend $100 on a, a damn steak. You know what I mean? But over here at Great Millstone, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't tolerate fucking stealing, man. Yeah. Stealing from each other and shit. What the fuck is that shit? You know? And that's how you could determine who's of the Lord, man. Right. Who's, who's the Lord's sheep? Who's, mm -hmm. who's really... The man of the Lord that's it's about this, man. Mm -hmm. Because man of the Lord, you ain't gonna hear you ain't gonna hear a man of the Lord doing that to other uh, other brethren like that. Right, right, right. But you'll hear that on other other groups that's out there. Right. You know, you'll hear that because mm, they're not a real, part, right? they're not a part of this, man. Mm -hmm. And that's a that's a uh a dead giveaway for these crumb snatching ass niggas. Hey, that, hey, my my no, no, go ahead, finish finish you know, up on that. I was just say that's a dead giveaway from these crumb snatching ass niggas, man. That's how you could tell who's who's about it, because mm -hmm. just little stuff like that that you're supposed to learn when you first come in the truth, they're doing it. So how much more the bigger things? Right, you right, know, right. That's right, right there, bro. Yeah. And, and 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 you know, when they check us out, they say we aggressive, we do this, we do that. But one thing that Great Millstone doesn't have is being brought brought up on charges in any case. You can't bring us up on charges of doing this, doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but these other camps, they always getting brought up on charges, bro. Oh, charges, yeah. What always. the? What, what is that? You know? <laughs> For the stuff they say we doing. But the, <laughs> <laughs> the stuff that we, exactly. we ain't doing none of that, man. Yeah. Exactly. Because we fear y'all by Shamel Shai. You know? Let's go, bro. Yep. Yes, I'm not. Uh, they I'm just say that's that's the key right there is fear. Right. Hey, don't. That's that's when you first come into this truth. The Lord put that fear on you. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, you ain't got the fear is the first step of of learning this truth, right? Of, of receiving this knowledge. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't got that fear, that means you never was in it. Mm -hmm. You just faking. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of guys out there doing. They might look good on the outside, mm -hmm. but the inward part is full of dead man's bones. Man. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, hey, bro. And the reason why they look good on the outside. It's because they stealing. They stealing. <laughs> yeah. you know? They stealing from and each other. And their whole thing is trying to get money mm -hmm. to to uh to make the flesh look good to to mm -hmm. to get other flesh. To get which, other flesh. Which is these women, man. Yeah. You know, a person only have try to get money. Why? It's for to women. it's 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 for uh it's to receive these women, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and the luxuries of the world. Yep, yep, yep. Us us brothers. Over here in Great Millstone, we all we desire is our daily bread. Right. Now, if the Lord give us a little extra, hey, shit, we yeah, you we know, praise brothers, the Lord. Yeah, we praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Brothers look good, you know what I'm saying? Brothers get some clothes here and there, some shoes. Yeah. But when brothers have a little extra, brothers kick down to other brothers. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's what it that's is. That's what it's about. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, it's not mm -hmm. about oh, it's just me. No, I want it. <laughs> it's mine. I'm not you know? gonna share. No. Mm -hmm. You know. But Paul said it best. He said when I became. Uh, a man, I put away childish things. Yeah, mm -hmm. little kids steal from each other and do all that shit, man. You, mm -hmm. you supposed to have been knocked that off. Let's mm -hmm. go over. Let's let's drop yep. it. It's uh, verse nine. It says, "But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare." Because it, it, the uh, one of the you fall into temptation and a snare. Be, off top, the dollar bill is a bloody, demonic, fucking mm -hmm. um. Form of money off top, so mm -hmm. 
to to want to desire to desire it to have abundance of it, it puts a fucking demon on you. Yeah. It it puts a demon on you, man. And then you yeah. fall into diverse temptations and lusts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Snap. Yeah. Hey, like the brother says, it's not even real money. Really, it's, yeah, just, it's not. really it's a damn demon in your hand because yeah. of the the um the, the 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 history it has behind it. You know what I mean? So when you have abundance of it, it makes you fucking act retarded, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the love. It's the love that you give to it that makes it evil because the dollar itself is is just a dollar. It's just a it's just mm -hmm. a paper. But mm -hmm. it's the love you put behind it mm -hmm. that that turns like when you add different, like you might have uh, a bowl full of vinegar, right? Right. It's just vinegar. But uh -huh. as soon as you add some baking soda to it, it becomes something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It become it reacts. Right. So once you put that love to the pot. From loving that money, yeah. then it reacts and becomes totally something different. It becomes yeah. a wicked ass, a wicked something that makes you go against the most high. Yeah. Yep. Let's go, bro. Yep. It says, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Bam. Mm -hmm. So that's why they started stealing from their brothers. You, mm -hmm. You're desiring... You're desiring something that you don't even fucking need. Mm -hmm. This big house, this cars and... And then it makes you it, it, it makes you do something to steal against a brother or to get him for his money or something, man. You know? Yeah, Go ahead, bro. And drown men into in destruction and perdition. Mm-hmm. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Bam. So and that's one of the main things that have destroyed our nation. My oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? I was gonna say my family destroyed because of money, but yeah. that's these brothers' family too. Yeah. We all have the same family, and our fucking family is fucking divided, man. Over money. Over fucking money. That's one of the many things that divided their ass, man. Mm -hmm. That's what keep. The, that's what majority of the nation of Israel is divided because of fucking money, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they are. It just they just threw because of money. So now that we're come to this truth, in a uh, in a right perspective under Yahweh Shemel Shai, it's like we gotta do this right now. Money. It ain't all about money. Yeah, right. it's not all about money, man. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of times, you know, you'll think because the grandmother keep the fam. They say that you know the grandmother yeah. is like the the rock of the family, and right. you know, mm -hmm. it's because a lot of the times it's because what they could get from the grandmother. Mm -hmm. the grandmother be dishing out to her grandchildren, so they all go to that one house and they all meet up at that one house and they see each other. They just mm -hmm. keeping the peace just to get. A little dollar bill from the grandmother, man, because the grandmother is dishing out. She old. She can't really use the money like right. I she used. So she just saving up and shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You yeah. know, and they going over there and just using it. Just using. Using it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. That's you know? right, bro. Mm -hmm. It's not because of the hell of a love that she might be showing. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, she, you know, grandmothers, you know, they show love, but mm -hmm. you know, it's real. But they using the grandmother. Yeah, bro. You yeah. got a lot of jakes out there that's putting that getting their families put to death for life. Insurance policies, man. Oh, yeah. You got Jake's out there that's selling drugs to their people for money. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Jake's out there selling. They got selling. They 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 wrecked them, and and doing anything for this Edomite for the love of money. For the love of money. This, this money is 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 demonic, and now, you know, it's 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 supposed to happen because of scripture. But now you see that these other cats they fucking stealing from each other, man. <laughs> you know, I but you're not script. finding that over here at Great Millstone. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I, I got a script. Yep. This is a rock 31 and uh, 6. It reads, gold hath been the ruin of many, mm. and their destruction was present. Mm -hmm. It is a stumbling block unto them that sacrifice unto it, and every fool shall be taken therewith. Now, mm -hmm. Esau, the so-called white man, for the love of money, the so-called white man came over here and dramatically devastated the indies that what they call the indies the the northern kingdom the uh the the lost 10 tribes man he did it over money the love of money the love of riches the love of a product mm -hmm. we should have we should learn from that man mm -hmm. and look at this look at this devil now look at him now how he's fighting against each other it's all about money and stuff man yeah we should have, we should learn from that we shouldn't be bringing them old ways to the to the truth mm -hmm. yeah you know? Yeah, that's real. I got another one. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. This is uh Hey, let's get that in John. This Proverbs you 30. Uh, oh, I still have yeah, to yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go Proverbs ahead. Proverbs 30 and 8. Right. Uh it says, uh, remove far from me vanity and lies, 
Give me neither poverty nor riches. Mm -hmm. Feed me with food convenient for me. Mm -hmm. least, I, uh, least I be full and deny thee. Uh, least least I, be, I be full and deny thee. See? And say, mm -hmm. who is the Lord? Or mm -hmm. least I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. So that's why we, that's all we looking for. A real man of understanding, he's not looking for this high amount of money and riches and all that shit, mm -hmm. you know? Neither is he looking to be poor where to the point where he's stealing. Now, cause when you high up, when you high up like that, you're gonna forget about the most high, man. You're oh, gonna yeah. you're gonna think about all the shit you didn't have as a child. Mm -hmm. You know, I want that Nintendo 64. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ain't never had a Nintendo 64. Yeah. I want the <laughs> shoes. I want this. I want that. Next thing you know, you're not you're not even giving the most high any time no more. You just focused on your pleasures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yep. So so in Proverbs, it said, don't push me too high. And then it said, don't push me too low. Least I, least I steal. Mm -hmm. And I know, and now me personally, um, I've been brought up on charges in Esau when I was in the world dealing with Esau due to stealing. Now, the reason why I was stealing is because that latter part of the scripture. Because I was so, I was so, so low, I needed to steal to make sure, to get what I needed, what I wanted, man. So I understand when it says if you be low enough, you will steal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You will steal because you so low, you need to feed your family. You need to get these shoes. You ain't got no shoes or mm -hmm. you need this. So it causes you to steal it to get it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yep. But but that's why when it comes to this truth, we ask for balance. We ask for balance. Most high Baruch shy. Just give me my daily bread mm -hmm. so that I could sustain myself take care of my family yeah i'm not trying to steal from this man over here i'm not doing none of that stuff yeah. because when you them guys when you get brought up on charges like that it's like you're putting the blame to the ministry too you know so when people that without without the faith oh them niggas is nothing but a bunch of thieves yeah, niggas, stole. Them niggas are thieves over there mm -hmm. you don't want to you don't want to have none of that to be able to be said mm -hmm. so the best thing is to ask the most side for your daily bread hustle one of the brothers, the brothers out here push hustle so that you won't have to steal, yep. you know, and that you could just focus on the ministry and wait on the Lord in peace, you know, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I you was done with that, bro. Uh, Kai, Kai. Kai. Mm -hmm. This is uh, back in first Timothy six and 10, right? It says for the love of money is the root of all evil, mm -hmm. which, while so, which while some coveted after. They have erred from the faith. Real quick, go to Sirach uh, 10, I believe, because it said, which some have coveted after have erred from the faith. Now, let's see what the scriptures say about a covetous man. It's somewhere over here. Yeah, There's it's nothing more. Wicked than the covetous mm -hmm. man. It's, uh... it's oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah what? This is uh, Sirach 10 and 9. Right. It says, why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. There's not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. That's why it's a covetous. The the covetous is when you know when they they try to say that the 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 uh, ten commandments basically sums up yeah. all the commandments. Mm -hmm. One of those many things is that the end is covet not thy neighbor. Not That's thy something neighbor. heavy that that. We've dealt with, we have been taught from our, our oppressors is to covet this dude. Covet, yeah. What he got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The yeah. scripture said there's not something more wicked than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, they were called today like a hater. Shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, man, why he got, it? you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the hater's ball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but remember, remember on, on, the, on the show, on that uh, David Chappelle show, he said, Dude was making more money than him, so he mm -hmm. called the police yeah. and had his whole little operation shut down. Yeah. You know, but he was coveting him, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That, but it said covetous makes you err from the faith. So the, the real men of the Lord, we fear Yahweh Shai. One of the main things that you don't want is the most high to take you from the faith. So we fucking we don't fuck with covetousness, you know? Mm -hmm. If that if that demon happened to try to fuck with you, you rebuke it instantly, man. Mm -hmm. Get that demon out of there, man. Yeah. Because that demon right there have you out of here. You know? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, that was it I right there. No, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Daniel. So and then Leviticus let's get, 19 uh, let's get and, uh, John 3 real quick. <clears throat> just a quick one. Go ahead, uh, Daniel. Leviticus 19 and 11. Right. 
You shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Bam, plain straight to the point. To you the should point. not steal. Read it again, not. Yep. You shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Hey, man, a lot of us brothers dealt with actually getting robbed. When you get robbed, it's a setback on you, which causes distress in your mind. Oh, man. It causes, it just causes frustration. And if you don't have a balance in your spirit, you'll you'll actually try to um uh uh pay back secret, yeah. but you'll you'll um you'll seek revenge for your own self. Yep, retaliate. Yep, retaliate. You'll re you'll um retaliate. I lost my train of thought because that yeah. shit just happened. Uh, what I was saying? You are saying how uh if someone steals someone steal for you, your natural yeah. action is yeah. to try Boom. to yeah seek revenge and retaliate. Right, yeah. you sit and retaliate. That's mm -hmm. why it just don't. Fucking steal. Don't fucking be stealing from your brother, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause you bring that brother into all that distress. Mm -hmm. You do all that to that man. You know what I mean? And then yeah. the, the most I hear, uh, go to Sirac 4 real quick, bro. Mm -hmm. Go to Sirac 4 real quick. And um when the, when that man cried to the most high, and most high gonna hear him. And he gonna he gonna jack you up, man. Sirac 4 and it's uh uh, start right at one, bro. Yeah, yep. This is Sirach 401. It says, My son, defraud not the poor of his living, and make not the needy eyes to wait long. Keep going. Make not an hungry soul sorrowful, neither provoke a man in his distress. Bam, you see, keep going, bro. It gets you, sir. Add no more trouble to an heart that is vexed, and defer not to give to him that is in need. Bam, we're vexed. Our brothers are dealing with all type of stuff. We have our own lot of hell. We ain't balling out of control. We ain't none of that. Mm -hmm. So if you steal from us, you put us in a further, you put us in a further ditch, mm -hmm. which causes vexation of mind. And we, we cry to the Lord. Keep going, bro. When yeah. we cry to the Lord, what does it say? It says, reject not the supplication of the afflicted, neither turn away thy face from a poor man. Keep going. Turn not away thine eye from the needy and give him none occasion to curse thee. Give him none occasion to curse thee. Yeah. Keep going, bro. For if he curse thee in the bitterness of his soul, his prayer shall be heard of him that made him. See? Yeah. The most I gonna hear, and he gonna jack you up. Yeah. That's yeah. why it's important to fear Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to steal the fraud your, your neighbor or whatever the case is, and he curse you, and the most I gonna hear his gonna hear his cry, mm -hmm. and the most I gonna be after you to send a uh, evil angel to evil get you, angel. man. Yep. Yeah. You know? That's right. Man. That's why that's one of the reasons why we don't steal from each other, man. Yeah. We don't want we don't want the most high on our ass. And and to steal from another brother is a lack of faith. You don't believe the most high could took care of you. Mm -hmm. So you stole from the next man, you know? Yep. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. I want to finish. Yeah, it. go ahead, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Levitis, Leviticus 19 and uh 11 it says, "Ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another." It says in uh let me see. And ye shall not. Hey, and lying, li real quick, lying. That's that's what you when you stealing, you first coming up with a lie to even get this to to get to this actual action of stealing, mm -hmm. which them guys was doing. They was lying to them dudes over there, yeah. mm -hmm. calling them the pocket. That's what they said that his nickname was of the guy who had a lot of money. He was the pocket, and they needed. They was getting them. They was getting them. However, they was getting them. Damn. That shit is cold. Yeah. Lion. It says, mm -hmm. uh, verse 12, And ye shall not swear by my name falsely, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy power. I am the Lord. Lord I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yahweh. Mm -hmm. It says, Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, but the point is, thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor. Neither rob him. Neither rob right, him. Right. You know, you ain't supposed to do that. You know, mm -hmm. you know that's just, it's just common sense, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. You'll cause a whole. First of all, you'll put that brother in a in a in a in a cold, a cold uh, state. Yeah, his his, the way he acting, everything. He already like the brother said. We already going through shit, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Esau could have been fucking with him at the job, already right. taking his wages and shit. Right. And then yeah. you got to worry about a, a, a so-called brother stealing from, stealing, you? from stealing from you. That ain't cool, man. You know, 
And then you getting like, fuck, I'm, you know, I'm already getting it from Esau. And then mm -hmm. I got to worry about this nigga claiming he my brother and shit. And stealing from me. You yeah. know, us brothers over here, man, we, we, we're blessed to leave our wallet uh, mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. Any Anything, bro. Anything. Phone. Phone. Tablets. You know you what I'm saying? Know. We ain't got to worry about, uh, is this dude going to steal from me? Nah, because yeah. it's the brothers, man. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, never that. And brothers, guys, you know, brothers, you know, every Jake got little valuable stuff, mm -hmm. you know, however he got it. And if we may have, like this brother said, we may have left it at a brother house or mm -hmm. it's still there safe it's and sound. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? No matter if the brother lived fucking an hour and a half away or whatever, he going to get it next time at camp. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Two weeks later, it'll still be there. Still there. Mm -hmm. You know? We ain't, we ain't on that. We ain't, you know? Yeah, that was it right there. Uh, that, uh, John. Yeah, let's get that, John. Just a quick where it says you got to be reborn again. Yep. This is uh, John chapter 3, verse 3. It says, Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh while Yahweh shall. So if you have that spirit of, you know, you yikwabbing, that's what we call it out here, you stealing. When you come to the truth, you got to calm that shit down. Mm -hmm. You know? You can't be still. You can't come over here and think you're going to be still and it's all good. Mm, rob his brother. Steal his iPod. You know, whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. You can't do that, man. No matter what. It could be something small. You don't steal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't know we had Hey, right. That's right. Stop it. Period. Mm -hmm. you, know, you gotta, You got to stop that, man. Like I, like I said, it's a lack of faith because you don't believe that the most high will provide for you. So you steal from your brother, man. Yeah. Remember we had some niggas in the camp and shit was getting coming up so stolen. Damn. But as soon as soon as they uh soon as they uh what departed? Departed. That's when the uh the stealing stopped. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Stealing DVDs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? I mean, if you if you have a situation where you need some cheese or something, you have to just you have to speak up. Yeah. Uh, what they say in the world, uh, a closed mouth, mouth don't, don't get, get fed. fed. Yeah, that's you real. You know, that's real. You don't need to go and start stealing from this brother because you because you uh you know because you lacking you lacking or whatever the case is, man. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, that, that was it. Hey, man, I'm okay. telling you, bro, I was. The reason, if you ever heard me talk about I was in juvenile hall, the reason why is because I was fucking yikwabbing, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did yikwab because I didn't, you know, growing up around Judah, fucking mama, her, she ain't, she asking you for money. Right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. So that shit, I, I know that shit don't do nothing but lead you down a, uh, a fucked up path, man. Your ass will be fucking locked up for that shit. Yeah. You know? I Go ahead. Said, bro. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Mm -hmm. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Damn. Old things are passed away. Uh -huh. Behold, all things are become new. Bam. You see okay. that right there? Yep. So old things are passed away. So that right. life of stealing, um, you know what I'm saying, defrauding people, trying to get over. You know what I'm saying? that All that goes away once you come into the knowledge, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's real you right know? there, bro. Yep. Yep. It says all things are become new. So you so you start changing your ways, you're switching your ways up, man. You know? Yeah, and I got one right here, yeah. bro. It's uh first Peter 4 and 1. For as much then as Yahweh Shai have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Mm. Yahweh Shai wasn't going around getting the 12 disciples and shit, you know? Yeah. He wasn't going around stealing from the 12 disciples or stealing from anybody. Anybody. Yeah. Remember it said that the Lord didn't have a place to lay his head. Mm -hmm. So was he like shit, man? We're gonna we gonna rob these Romans. They gonna they gonna at two o'clock. They're gonna be right here. Mm -hmm. I plotted it out already. They're gonna be right there. They're gonna be defenseless. They're gonna sit their swords down because they're gonna go. No man. Mm -hmm. The Lord suffered whatever it is the Lord put in his on his on his plate in his lap. Yeah. It says so. We have to do the same. It says for he that have suffered in the flesh cease from mm -hmm. sin, that he no longer should live. The rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of the most high. Mm. So now we retransferred our mind to the mind of Yahweh Shai so that we could be, we could live after Yahweh Shai we and do the will of the Lord and not follow the ways of the flesh no more. You know? Right. And when you're doing the will of the Lord, the most high take care of you. Yep. 
Now, like we say, you ain't gonna be buku having money like that. None of us brothers banking out of control like that, man. Mm -hmm. But the most high sustaining us to where brothers could go buy a burger, go get some shoes. Mm -hmm. They could pay their rent. Pay their rent, pay their bills. Pay their bill. If their car break down, they could get, you know, they could get it fixed real quick. And if it's like a dire, like your transmission pop or your head gas, I mean, your transmission slip or your head gas is pop. Then what we do? Yeah, we we get up a collection for the brother to get it done, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then everything is gravy after that. You know? Yep. Hey, it's a lot of brothers. I'm fucking dealing with this stupid ass mechanic right now and shit. Yeah, it's cool, bro. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. It says that he, that uh, verse three, it says, for time past of our lives may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. Niggas still in the world. Niggas are stilling, man. Mm -hmm. That's why when a nigga move into a, a, a white neighborhood, you know that the property value decreases mm. because the, the so-called white man all automatically associates us, us tribes with stealing and being a nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And niggas are really stealing. These niggas is out here stealing, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm telling you, you know, you doing my job. Every time I go up to a person's house, um, they have all it's top notch security now. It wasn't like that just years back. Everybody got cameras, everybody got this new fucking system because there's a lot of niggas been going around robbing, man. Breaking in the house, burglary and shit. Yeah. But when you come to the truth, that shit has to fucking stop. Lead that to the two thirds, man. That's why they're gonna get judged. Yeah. They're gonna get judged for the wickedness they're doing, you know. But we're gonna be saved. For the righteousness uh, of that we're trying to perform here. Yeah, hey. Uh, just as when the scriptures say, well, when they said, uh, when have we, when have we, uh, you know. Uh, robbed thee? Rob, no, no. When have we uh, come in, basically like went and seen you in jail or. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the same it. thing as yeah. if you rob somebody. That you doing that to Yahweh Shai, man. Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, what is that? Mm. So, you know, the good is the good as well as the bad, man. Right. You Set. know what I'm saying? Set. So you you robbing and stealing. Just imagine, just put a uh, you know, just imagine that you robbing Yahweh Shai, man. That's because that's what you're doing, man. Mm. You robbing the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Because every man in yeah. this truth represents Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, man. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got it, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is uh Matthew chapter 25, verse. I start at um 35. It says, For what for I was in hunger and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger and ye took me in. Naked and ye clothed me. I was sick and ye visited me. I was in prison and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord. When saw we thee a hunger mm -hmm. and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? Mm -hmm. When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, In so much as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren. Mm. See that? That's a mm -hmm. cut right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's a cut. Because they... They was doing good to their brethren. What you think? Hey, when you do bad, the same thing, man. It's a, yep. it's the, yep. It's a balance. It's, a, it's yep. a, it's always the opposition yep. to everything. Yep. So you right, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you did it, if you gave him, you know, you know, you hooked him up, you did it to Yahushai. So if you take from him, you did it to Yahushai. You did it to Yahushai. Yep. <laughs> it's yep. Crazy. Yep. It says, crazy. so much as you have done it unto one of the least. Of these, my brethren, you have done it unto me. Mm. So even it don't matter if a brother freshly came into the truth, you know. Even a person in the world, man, you get jacked up, man. Right. We ain't supposed to be stealing for dudes from dudes in the world. Yep, man. that's mm -hmm. real. You yep. know what I'm saying? You know, you supposed to uh, remain honest. Yeah. Among all men. Exactly. You know. You know. Mm -hmm. And you, it supposed to be no stealing, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Whether it's a dude in the world, a guy in the truth, man. We put away that shit, man. We don't have to do that no more. The Lord is looking out for us, giving us our daily bread, mm -hmm. you know? And you just, 
you basically telling the Lord, you know, now nah, you ain't giving me enough. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to steal. Mm -hmm. You know? It mm -hmm. ain't cool. Yeah, the Lord will cool. judge you for that. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So if, if you if you if you got some guys that's listening, you know, I advise you to fast and and repent, man. Right. You know, ask the Lord to forgive you for your wickedness, man. Yeah. You know? And, yeah, and do yeah. it no more, man. That's real. Yeah. Hey, on some serious stuff, like I said, man, I, you know, I'm just I'm just speaking because I know personally I dealt with it of that fucking just stealing and stuff, man. I've dealt with it, you know. But when it comes to the truth, you can't do that stupid shit no more. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit. The most high is taking care of us now. Yeah. Yeah. And then that leaves a relief on your spirit. Because you know when you hey Daniel, you know, when you get ready to try to go steal or something. Oh my goodness, your heart is like, yeah. cause you know you ain't supposed to be going to do this, yeah, yeah. but you're going to still do it. You know, mm -hmm. it's like fuck. I just hope that I get get away with it. Yeah, <laughs> it's hey. a stressful fucking situation. It's a stressful way to you're live. Thinking about yeah. is you gonna make it home that night? Yeah. Is you or are you or are you, are you gonna be behind bars? <laughs> yeah, all you're type so, of shit. So like you know it's so wrong that your stomach start bubbling. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You start, you know, passing gas and shit. <laughs> I, I remember those days, man. Right, right. You know? Right. And, and it was a, to a point where, you know, I didn't know where I was coming home or not, man. Yeah. You know? I I, I, I knew. I was like, okay. I used to think, like, damn, okay, I'm a shit. Hopefully, I don't get caught, man. That's I'm it. I'm going to do everything I can, but mm -hmm. you could do everything you can not to get caught, and your ass will get caught, man. Next mm -hmm. thing you know, you behind bars, man. Yeah. yeah I right. used to be in that life, man, mm -hmm. you know? But mm -hmm. once I got in this truth, I shed it all, that shit, man. Yeah. Hey, now, hey. I depend on the Lord. Yep, you know? that's right. That's right. I don't know about Shemir I'm shy, but I'm not just stagnant, neither. Yeah. You know? Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, it would be a good time to drop that Proverbs uh, 9, because that would fit perfectly with a given understanding on you know why we why why you used to still and now now why you ain't doing it no more go ahead bro I'm my proverbs six. yeah six and what is that uh six. 30 and 31 yeah i got it this is uh proverbs chapter 6 verse 30 it says men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry Bam. so you know a lot of people you know they steal because they want to satisfy their 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 um they're hungry, man. Mm -hmm. That's why they are still. It said men don't really, you they know, don't despise it because they know. Okay, he was, he was, his, he was in need. He you know was in saying? need. You know, he was in need. That's yeah. why he did it. Read the next verse, bro. Yep. But it says, but if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. So in order just to eliminate that whole process, it just don't steal. Mm -hmm. Don't be robbing your next brother, man. Mm -hmm. Don't be doing something, something that's gonna cause. Uh, it's going to cause blame to the ministry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but a lot of us brothers that d used to do that shit in the world is because of we were trying to satisfy the hunger of our soul, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But now we came in this word. We came in the truth. The most high sustains us. Mm -hmm. He sustains us to where we're good. You know? And then if you get into a situation, you have... You have you have brothers to fall back on. But how, come on, how you going? <laughs> if you steal it from the brothers, you ain't going to have nothing to fall back on. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know? You know, because brothers hear about that and you making other brothers mad. Yeah. You're not mm -hmm. just putting that other that one brother you stole from because we're one body. You making all the whole body mad, man. Yeah. It's it's You sending a, 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 a frequency, a signal throughout the whole Babylon. You got brothers <laughs> all across. You got brothers... You might have brothers in 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 New York mad at you. Hell you all yeah, in Los Angeles and shit. And they hear about it like, man, oh, what's up with this fucking dude, man? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, bro. And they mad and shit. Mm -hmm. Now you put a bad, you put spot on you, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, every time a brother see you doing a lesson or uh, see you on the street, he looking at you and thinking oh, oh, this dude ain't right, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Got that. I, that ain't good. That's good, bro. Yeah. Uh, that, that was it on Proverbs. Yeah, that's it. That's, and then let's start dropping some of these, uh, all the ones we was, uh, we yeah, we was just going oh, through. Yeah, yeah. Like the one, the Exodus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was Exodus um, yeah. 22 and 7. Mm -hmm. so, so. You got it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I got it. Yep, yep, yep. This is Exodus 22 and 7. It says, if a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep, and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. So if you 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 know that you you was trying to steal just one little thing, mm -hmm. and it, it flips if you get if the most high catch your ass, it flips to where you don't just give him it back, you gotta restore it fucking yeah. sevenfold, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? See the burden that it actually puts on you? It puts another burden on you, man. <laughs> See? You was just you were trying to gain something. You were trying to gain something. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Uh that was it on That was it? Yeah. Let's get some of them ones that we found this Ciroc. Let's get uh, that 29th Ciroc, chapter too. 29. You know? Yeah. Yeah, 29. Yeah. You got, got it, it, bro? Or uh you whatever. Pull these scriptures out on on stealing, man. man. Huh. This is uh Sirach 29, and I'll start from the top. Right. It says, He that is merciful will lend unto his neighbor, and he that strength strengtheneth his hand keepeth the commandments. Mm -hmm. Lend to thy neighbor in his time of need, and pay thou thy neighbor again in due season. And that's one thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If if you brothers got covenants of you know, I let you borrow this, bro. You know, just shoot it back whenever you can. Make sure to get it, get get it to that brother. You know, mm -hmm, yeah. by all means, it, it, however it may be, it come a little later than. But you, you communicate with this brother to give that back, right. because it caught it leaves a space for Satan and causing confusion yeah. right. to to say something to a brother and then don't hold your end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. So now this brother got Satan all in his brain fucking with him. Mm -hmm. You know, because of you, you decided to do this to him. Man, we we trying to keep it as peaceable as possible until Yahweh Shai yeah. come. The scriptures talk about living a peaceful life. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. It's a, it tell you in Lamentations. Um, be quiet. Be qu in the, in, in quiet. Quiet in the Lord. Wait, wait on the Lord. Quiet and wait on the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Go ahead, Art. It says, verse three: Keep thy word and deal faithfully with him, mm -hmm. and thou shalt thou shalt always find the thing that is necessary for thee. And then the most high still mess. He just deals with you. You still yeah. finding what's necessary for you. Keeping your end of the bargain, showing that you, you know, you're 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 a man of integrity. <laughs> you know, keep going, bro. Yeah. It says many, when a thing was lent to them, reckoned it to be found and put them to trouble that helped them. <laughs> See, reckoned it, meaning that somebody let you borrow it. And then you reckoned it, you acknowledged it to be found as if you just found it, like it was just yours. Yeah. But really, this man lent it to you. Because a lot of people, they have borrowed something from somebody, and they, from the point that they borrowed it, that very second, mm -hmm. they already told themselves, I ain't giving this nigga back nothing. Yeah, yep. yep. That means you reckoned it to be found. Yeah, you see that with Jake in the world, like with right. family, they let you borrow uh, like a vacuum and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never give this nigga and then it comes to the point like, damn. Can I get my can I, can I get my vacuum back? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Chris Tucker said, you you know, you borrow somebody from some uh, they borrow it from you and then you gotta borrow it back. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Because they keep it so long. Go ahead, that's bro. another yeah. thing, for life, brother. That's another form of stealing, man. That's a yeah. form of stealing. When your brother borrow some money or 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 borrow a, a, a tool or something like that. I don't care how little it is, man. You're supposed to give it back to that brother. Yeah. A mm -hmm. brother shouldn't have to come to you. Uh, the day you the day you say you was supposed to give it back, this day you supposed to give it back. Mm -hmm. My brother shouldn't have to come to you, hey, hey, bro, because you making now you making that brother feel uncomfortable, yeah. uncomfortable because that brother love you. Yeah. He don't want to put you. He don't want to make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So he's he's he rather deal with the uncomfortableness than to give it back to you. Yep, mm -hmm. that's unreal. And, and, and you could just give it back to him just by accident. Yep, yep. You can make him feel like, oh, well, shit. Now. Now you thinking like, damn, do he think I'm a nigga? Cause I'm asking him, you know, I know what the scriptures say. You ain't supposed to, you know, if if you brought something, you ain't supposed to just go to him, hey brother, you, you I need that. You got that? You got yeah. that? You got that? That's why it, it makes it weird though. It mm -hmm. makes it weird. Like I let you borrow it, then I'm thinking to myself, damn, bro, I let you borrow it. You ain't even going to communicate what was yeah. going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Yeah, you think you going off. By asking him, by huh? Asking yeah. him. And therefore you don't, and then you just, and then it, you know what? It builds a, it builds a, a, a tension between you and that brother. Yeah, that brother. Satan is right there, Satan like you. Yeah. Missed. Yeah. yeah. So if you borrow something from my brother, be sure to give it back to that brother, man. Mm -hmm. No matter how small it is, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. 
Yeah. You know, this is stuff we need to practice. This is the, we're the kingdom. The kingdom is already here. The kingdom is here. The kingdom is the brotherhood. We're, the kingdom is here. We know we Israelites, we're waking up, we're striving. The kingdom is here. All right. So in the kingdom, uh, we need to be practicing the, the rehearsing of righteous acts right That's now. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. no more of that fucking that nigga shit, man. Borrow my heater, but then from the moment you borrow my heater, you knew in your mind I ain't gonna never give it back, and I know he gonna be he ain't gonna ask me, yeah, yeah he ain't gonna because ask he one of them brothers that you know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's yep. scandalous. That's why yeah. it says it says put and put them to trouble that help them. So you putting that <laughs> brother that. in trouble that's helping you, man. He really <laughs> helping you, you know. He need his heater, man, yeah. or whatever. He need his vacuum or. You know, yeah. brother, it's a jacket. Sometimes. It could be a, you know, you know, what whatever it is, you know. Yeah, the scripture talk about if you borrow your sir, your brother's garment, you're supposed to give it to him before the sun go down. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel weird if I. So, hey, bro, can I can I hold a dollar? Because you might not have change. You know, you got the money, but you might not have change. You might need to for the brother to lend you a dollar to pay your. You know, pay the uh, the parking meter or something. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel we're not giving that brother his dollar back and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, oh shit, I didn't get the brother his dollar. You thinking about it like shit? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's real. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but but communication and all that eliminates a lot of that. Like, brother, like, damn, my gear. Nah, bro, don't trip off that dollar. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's nothing, bro. Nothing, yeah. bro. You know, but communication, it's, it's not even a, it's not even about the dollar, the actual physical thing. It's about like that integrity that you're showing amongst each other, you know? Mm -hmm. That, that, it's, yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, it's the principality. It's the principality. Because these are, these are, this is, it's setting morals mm -hmm. amongst the whole nation. We have, we have set morals here. That we're coming to is, and it's a kingly ship, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's go, bro. Yep, this is uh, verse 5. It says, Till he hath received, he will kiss a man's hand for his neighbor's money, he will speak submissively. Mm -hmm. But when he should repay, he see, a, a, a nigga would speak submissively, like humble and shit, yeah. for his neighbor's money. That's what you, the little video, you watched a little bit of it. Dealing with the uh, Israel United and thievery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you deal, it's like they, the dude was fucking acting submissively to get the other guy's money. What is that? That's whack. Mm, yeah. Go That's ahead, I. That's civil But when he should repay, he will prolong the time and return words of grief and complain of the time. Yeah. Now it's... Shit, brother, I'm going through something, man. Shit. My family just died. Hey, Daniel, my family just died, man. Yeah. I, look, man, I let you borrow that, man. Yeah. I'm dealing with my family just died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how Jake, or I got you. I, hey, bro, I, I promise you. I promise you next next month. But never nothing. Never. Yeah. Won't even hit you up. <laughs> you got to continue to hit him up. And, shit. Mm -hmm. and we know certain people that do that, so now... When they ask for something like say if it's your family, you you won't you won't let them borrow it. Yeah. If anything, you'll just let them have it because you don't want the you don't want that stress of that like damn. Shit. I know that's motherfucker gonna give me the shit. The day come, no call, you know, a week later you see him at the store and shit, he getting shit. <laughs> this, nigga got a, this nigga got a planned excuse. So you don't want to put yourself in that yeah. in that uh that that situation feeling because yeah. you know you're gonna be in that 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 heated feeling you don't want to do that so you just we now we what we do we just you know you just hey man just have it that's true mm -hmm. yeah yep, yep yep especially when it come to family man you already know aunties and uncles <laughs> yeah. and shit yeah. oh man let me let me hold time mm -hmm. every time they see you i ain't seen you in six months let me hold it down. Hey, let me, let me i give it back to you on the what's the day <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it on the third. Yeah. On the third. Yeah, yeah I get my I get my I get my benefits on the third. Just keep that. Yep. That's all you. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> yep. It says Well, he shall hardly receive the half, and he will count it as if he had found it. Mm -hmm. If not, he have deprived him of his money. Mm -hmm. And he gotten him an enemy without cause. Now you Thank created you. an enemy. Mm -hmm. You know? And if you're stealing from the brothers, then you're an enemy. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you did it without cause. I mean, what did I do to you to make you steal from exactly. me? Exactly. 
And now we're enemies because of this, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, you know, go ahead, bro. Yep. And, and the most High's not dealing with that. He's not dealing with that, you know? Yeah. Go ahead, bro. It says, he payeth him with cursings and railings. And for honor, he will pay him disgrace. And that's a lot of dudes, you know, after they didn't pay you, they didn't. Them yeah. niggas is talking shit to you. Yeah. They're talking shit to you. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, you the one that's in the wrong. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, yeah. bro. It says, verse 7. Many, therefore, have refused to lend for other men's ill dealing, Ooh. fearing to be defrauded. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> See, you don't want to do it because you already seen your brother go through it. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, oh, this nigga got this nigga then built priors. Fuck, you know? yeah. You hey, you got you got guys that have borrowed books from you. <laughs> hey, let me yeah. let me let me hold that book, bro. Right. Until right. We'll, you know, mm -hmm. I, as soon as I finish reading, it, I'm gonna give it back to you. <laughs> hey, like the brother just said, I trust the Edomite before Jake. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's some real stuff that's in certain real. cases. In certain cases, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather I'd rather have a Edomite landlord than a motherfucking Jake landlord. Because a damn Jake is nothing but they call slum lords. Mm -hmm. Them niggas don't them niggas is just they just want their money. And that's it. They ain't fixing shit. Mm -hmm. They not doing nothing. Yeah. You know? But that it's the it's the curses that's on us though, you know? Yeah. Yep. Go ahead, bro. It says, Get have thou patience with a man in his poor state and delay not to show him mercy. Man. Yep. Help the poor for the commandment's sake and turn uh, turn him not away because of his poverty. Bam. So we helping each other out here. It's a rotating. We all know we going through. We have our ups and our downs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just helping each other out as a brother go down, man. Mm -hmm. If you're not going down, I mean, the Lord ain't dealing with your ass, man. Mm -hmm. The scriptures tell you be patient with our change to a lower state. Yeah. You know, so we know our brothers go down, but we have a rotating cycle of helping. There's no need to steal from each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. It says, lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend, and let it not rust under a stone to be lost. Mm, it said, lose your money for your brother, not steal from your brother. Mm -hmm. Lose your money for your brother, man. Don't steal his money. All right? Help your brother out if he's going through something, man. Sitting there on your cheese and shit, looking at the, looking at your brother, stressing the fuck out, and you have everything going well for you at that point in time, and you have cheese left over on you, you know. See yeah. this brother going through it, and you just like shit, nigga. You gotta go through your, you gotta go through your uh trial, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, like just, like for instance, if you have a pocket full of money, you know. You might have a couple hundred and you you know you know the brother ain't really got nothing but the brother's willing that like y'all at the store he's paying ahead of you and he's willing to buy your things you know like hey brother i got you bro mm -hmm. and like you know nah bro i got matter of fact i got you bro you know what i'm saying that's what we should be saying nah bro i got you bro right and especially if you know the brother ain't really got it but he's just that's just his spirit mm -hmm. you don't care if he got fifty dollars in his pocket and you got four hundred here yeah, hey, bro, I got you. Right. Like, nah, bro, I got you, bro. Hey, Thwa. Oh, I'm like, all right, shit. cool. Well, shit, can I get a soda mo? Can I get another? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you trying to add, like, you you already know you. <laughs> we had a Jake in a camp like that, man. Mm -hmm. This dude didn't want to do nothing for himself. Mm -hmm. You know, but he wanted to, hey, let's get that, bro, real quick. Uh, live it off another man's is not counted as a, a life. Mm -hmm. Okay, what was that? Uh, uh, that was, uh, what was that? That was, uh, it, was it was 40. 40. It was 40 and like, uh. Uh, 40, 40 and uh, oh, yeah, like yeah. somewhere around, somewhere right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead, bro. Oh, okay, this, 29, 40 and 29. You want to read it, bro? Oh, let's start at 20. Let's oh see. man, we got to start up, bro. It's like 23. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Uh, let's start at freaking 20, yeah, 23. 23, 23, I believe. Okay. Come on. it says. A friend and companion never meet a miss. It's like, bro, call it, call it, call it, call it. Oh, like, uh, Sirach 40 and 23. It says, a friend and companion never meet a miss, but above both is a wife with her husband. Mm -hmm. Brethren and help are against time of trouble. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Man. But arms shall deliver more than them both. So when the brethren is in need of help, when a, when a guy is in need of help, the brethren is there to help. To, uh, against trouble, mm 
Mm-hmm. All right, that's what we need to. That's what should be practiced. Mm-hmm. You know, but and then it said arms deliver you though. Mm-hmm. You your your charity that you you hooked this brother up that day that day, just that constant flow of hooking brothers up whenever you could. When it came to your time of your trouble, the Most High came through for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep going, bro. This is uh, verse twenty-four, brethren. Brethren and help are against time of trouble, but alms shall deliver more than them both. Mm-hmm. Gold and silver make the foot stand sure, but counsel is esteemed above them both. Mm. Riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. Bam! Mm. And that's what, if you fear Yahweh Shemar Shai, treasures and which riches is not going to alter the integrity that you're supposed to be showing in the faith. Mm-hmm. It's not going to alter it, you know? The fear of y'all about Shimon Shah is going to keep you from taking from this exactly. man or doing that that you know you ain't supposed to be doing. Probably you fear not. that the most high will come through with the with the whooping stick yeah, on you. With mm-hmm. the yeah. 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 It says, there is no want in the fear of the Lord. And it Woo! Let's go to Psalms 23. Mm-hmm. There is no want in the fear yeah. of the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know what you're going to do. Yeah. Uh, the fucking church quote this every fucking yeah, Sunday. Every Sunday. The Lord yeah. is my shepherd. 23, right at, the t- is it right at the top, I believe, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, hey, read that again about the fear of the Lord, bro. Yeah, it says, uh, 25. Wait, oh no, 26. Uh-huh. Riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. Uh huh. There is no want in the fear of the Lord, mm. and it needeth not to seek help. Bam, let's read that. Yep, in Psalm 23 and 1, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Bam. Bam. So, Yahweh Hashem outside takes care of us. Mm-hmm. If you're in the fear of the Lord, there's no want there. Mm-hmm. There's no need of stealing from the next man, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most I take care of you, man. Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. Verse 27. The fear of the Lord is a fruitful garden and covereth him above all glory. Damn. My son, lead not a beggar's life, for better is for better it is to die than to beg. Damn, so the best thing to do now the decree came out from Apostle to hard that everybody should have a job. Everybody should have a job. Have so a you person. so you won't lead that beggar's life. Mm-hmm. You know? Always always in the next man's fuck always in the next man's pocket. Because you want to wake up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and play fucking Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Or whatever you got going, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So it. now get a job and then you won't steal. You got money coming in. You won't steal. Yeah. Go ahead, Art. Mm-hmm. Uh, verse 29. The life of him that dependeth on another man's table is not to be counted for a life. Damn. Right. We, we had a cat in the camp that was like that. Man, he mm-hmm. was like that. And then the, the nigga was bold with it, though. Like, all right, if he didn't have no money. Say, for instance, all brothers, is we all chose a spot to eat at. He didn't have no money. So, brothers, oh, we'll pay for you, brother. That's nothing. That's cool, man. We're going to pay for you. Mm-hmm. But then when we get to the spot, he's like, well, I don't want that. I want you to go pay for me somewhere else. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? <laughs> Just be happy that we're paying for you, bro. Yeah. We ain't going to go our way so that you could go eat some damn Burger King. When everybody's eating at this spot and we're paying for you, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's why it says it's not to be counted for as a life. It's not to be counted for as a life you living off another man's table. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Go ahead, yeah. bro. It says, uh, uh, hey, so we had the burden, burden for this guy. Mm-hmm. We already in waste gas, though. We already spending all this money. Now we got to uh, go stop the time of putting forth towards something else because we got to go somewhere else, deal with traffic, go to the spot, wait for your food. Everybody already ate. Everybody ready to chill Yeah. because you want to eat somewhere else because you living off the next man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just not cool. It's just not cool. Yeah, you know? Ain't cool at all. Verse 29. The life of him that dependeth on another man's table is not to be counted for a life. For he pollute. For he polluteth himself with other men's meat, mm-hmm. but a wise man, well nurtured, will beware of thereof. Damn! But a, somebody who's reborn in the spirit, coming out, of, they taking out that shit off the from what they learned to the world. They 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 bewaring like fuck that. I'm cool. I'm not trying to stain myself. I'm not trying to be like that, man. Mm-hmm. That shit ain't cool, man. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. 
That's why, hey, hey, we learning these things, though. We coming from the world and we're learning that this is the way we need to do it. This is the stuff we need to be practicing, you know? Uh, Let me read mm -hmm. the last thing. Yep, yep. Let's start with our closing. Begging is sweet in the mouth of the shameless, but in his belly there shall burn a fire. And that's what it is. When you when you got to ask for stuff, it's like a shame that you couldn't, you couldn't sustain yourself. Yeah. It's like an ashamed, but somebody who's a beggar, he has no, he has no shame. shame. It's sweet to him. It's sweet to him. Mm -hmm. That's why you why you think that a Jacob be standing outside the store all day asking for change. Like you would think to yourself, damn, ain't that like, ain't that, don't you feel weird as fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but nah, man. Nah, fucking, they don't have no shame yeah, in that game. No shame. Hey, that's why the scriptures say this. This is Sirach 12 and 1. When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it. Mm, yeah. So shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It yeah. says, do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the most high. Mm. See? Yeah. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. Give to the godly man. <laughs> nor give no mm -hmm. alms. Mm -hmm. You don't never pay tithes. Never tithes. You know, Dang. you'll so, never pay. You hide when it comes to paying ties. You hiding, but you always got snacks. <laughs> you all, yeah. you, you always, come to camp. Like, yeah. Always got drinks. Always got snacks. Always eating on something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But you never got ties. You never got ties. Man, that's crucial. It said, uh, "What good could come to you, man? Yeah. What good? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you gotta, you gotta dish out that good for the Lord to." You know, bring you good, man. You hey, but the scriptures say you reap what you sow. Yeah, yep, yeah, you reap what you sow. You never sow any type of charity, so you don't get charity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, that's crucial. It says, uh, it says, give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. Right. Hold back thy bread and give it not unto him. Mm -hmm. At least he overmaster thee thereby. For else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. See? See? And that has happened, man. Yeah. You'll do good to somebody, and then next thing you know, you're going through some shit. You know? And mm -hmm. uh, just trusting him, man. You yeah. know? Putting your trust in this dude, and he didn't plays you. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Now you're going through some stuff. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. For the most high hated sinners, and will repay vengeance to the ungodly, and keep it them a Against the mighty day of their punishment. Damn. So if you want to be stealing from a brother, you go. You got some judgment coming. You know. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, "Give unto the good and help not the sinner." Right. Mm -hmm. Straight to the point. Man. Straight yep, to the yep. point. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start sucking around, closing it. Let's get them bloody. Remember the bloody ones we used to read. It? Uh -huh. Let's get them bloody ones, and then that, that that's pretty much cool. Because the scriptures say you a bloody man if you stealing. <laughs> If you stealing mm -hmm. from and defrauding your neighbors and shit, doing yeah. things as such yeah. that you got, you just a bloody dude, man. Yeah, you you remember that one, bro? Uh, what was when was it? Uh, I know I got. What uh, was it? The blood. It was the. Um, I, know I got Proverbs. Yeah, you can read that, bro. 30, Leviticus nineteen and thirty-five. Yeah, we read that. Matter of fact, we didn't read that one. Nineteen thirty-five. Yeah. yeah, you can read it. Just that's, drop it real uh, quick. Yeah. I think that's. What was that, man? We were just reading that. Uh, uh, balance weights, I think. That's, yeah, that was the balance weights. Yeah, that's the balance weights. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's drop something, though. Uh, it's, uh, Leviticus 19 and 35. It says, Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in uh, meat yard, in weight, or in measures. Mm -hmm. Just balances, just weights, and a just ephah, and a just hen shall ye have. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord your power. Which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Bam, that's yep. it right yep. there. You're supposed to be balanced. You're right. supposed mm -hmm. to be, uh, you know, if, 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 if you owe a certain amount, then that's mm -hmm. the amount you give. You right. don't give less, you know, you don't have to give more. That's Esau, bitch you ass. Know, yeah, you know, Esau like to charge you, he like Usury. to charge you interest. In, interest. Yep. yep. You know, yep. well, what a brother, he might say, hey, bro, well, shit, I know you owe me 100, just give me 50. Mm-hmm. You know? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Or I know you owe me a hundred, but I know I see you not doing too good. Hey bro, just keep it, bro. Yep, that's some real yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep, yep, yep. And that's 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 a balance right there. You know? Because you 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 uh you you helping the brother and you also pleasing your about shy, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, bro, let's let's go to twenty one uh, in Sirach twenty nine. Yeah, that was it, Daniel. Or? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. It. Yep. Yeah, I wish I, I can't find it. When it say something about a bloody man, you a bloody man, like you, you got mm -hmm. blood on you. Yeah. But I, I can't find it. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. So this is uh, Sirach twenty nine and twenty one. It says the chief thing for life is water, bread. And clothing and a house to cover shame. Uh -huh. Better is the life of a poor man in a mean cottage than a delicate fare in another man's house. See? Keep going, bro. Be it little or much, hold the contended. Be it content. Oh, slow. Oh, content. Yeah, contended. Yep. Contended. Yep. So be it little or much, be content with yourself. Mm -hmm. All right? Go ahead, bro. That thou hear not the reproach of thy house. That you hear not the reproach of your house. Be content. Go ahead. For it is miserable. For it is a miserable life to go from house to house. Uh -huh. For where thou art a stranger, thou darest not to open thy mouth. Damn. Thou shalt entertain and feast and have no thanks. Moreover, thou shalt hear bitter words. Mm -hmm. Come thou, th come thou stranger, and furnish a table, and feed me of that. No, I think that was it right there, bro. That's pretty much it. So just to be content. Be content with what you have. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Just be content with what you have. Everybody's got any other ones or y'all want to drop? Uh, yeah, I wish I could find that one. Is about one with blood, man. We were just reading it. Yeah, we were just reading it, but damn, I can't. Remember. I can't read that Proverbs again. Yeah, he read it, bro. Like Proverbs thirty and eight. Right. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Mm -hmm. Feed me with food convenient for me. Least I be full and deny thee and say. Who is the Lord? Right. Mm -hmm. Or at least I be poor and still and take the name of my power in vain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? So, uh, you know, the Lord's going to look out after us. You know what I'm saying? As long as we doing what we need to do. You know, there's a, you, we got to do what we need to do. And the mm -hmm. Lord's going to look at it. after us. After us right. You know what I'm saying? As long as we doing what we need to do, the Lord's going, he going, you know, lead us to, the right way, man. Right. We're going to get our daily bread, which is mm -hmm. all we need. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if the Lord do it for the birds, how much more for us, man? Right. right. Yeah. That's right. Right you there, know? bro. And I don't want to have riches, man, because I already know with riches, I'm thinking about pussy, man. Mm -hmm. Straight up. I'm mm -hmm. a man. And with riches, you're going to be thinking about pussy, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to be thinking like, damn, okay. Better go shit. get this bad you know, bitch. I'm going to get this fucking mm -hmm. McLaren. Now I'm finna mm -hmm. roll up on motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you you looking for the baddest bitch. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? So, right. hey, one of y'all about Shemel Rashad, we ain't rich, man. Yep. You know, yep. we ain't on no level of being rich. And I don't want to be rich, but I'm rich in the spirit. Mm. That's mm -hmm. all that counts. Lord yep. willing. You know, mm -hmm. Lord willing, I'm, we are those, uh, we we those men, you know? Yep. That's Lord right. willing. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, you got another one or no? You good? No, no, that was it. I got this quick one, and then uh, this is this the last one I got here. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Sirach 20 and, and, and 25. It says, a thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie, but they both shall have destruction to heritage. Mm -hmm. So yep. Yep. you're going you're gonna to be destroyed if you want to be a thief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to be destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your heritage is going to be... Uh, going through one of the said perils, concentration camps, famine, mm -hmm. something. Yep. A FEMA troop smashing your baby head in and then smashing yours in. Yeah. Whatever the Lord got planned for you, you know, because you didn't have faith that the Lord could sustain you, you know. So you decided to steal or whatever the case was, which the Most High is, is showing that's what's going on with. A, uh, and we've been saying it. Mm -hmm. We're going on a lot of these other camps. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We Great Millstone is rough. We teach with authority like the scriptures say, and a lot of people don't like it because the, it's not uh, it's not per se how the world would speak. It's mm -hmm. not smooth things. It's, it's not, not smooth, smooth things. things. So I'm gonna cater to but you're you not finna find us robbing each other, doing all this nigga shit. We're not doing that over here because we fear Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. We fear the Lord. We fear the Lord, and, and we love the man that's next to us. Mm -hmm. You know, the scripture said that the love that uh, David had for Jonathan surpassed the love of a woman. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how we love this man, this brother standing sitting next to me. I'm not. I don't want to see this brother in distress. He don't want to see me in distress. Right. Mm -hmm. 
We love each other. If I could, I want to help this man. Exactly. Not steal from him or take away from him. Exactly. You know? Yeah. You have something, Dayala? No, uh, come on. Yep, drop him it's in there. Proverbs uh, 15 and 16. Right. Mm -hmm. Better is little with the fear of the Lord mm -hmm. than great treasure and trouble therewith. Man. 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 You know? Hey, that's that's plain, man. Right. I'd rather have the daily bread going through the little struggles with brothers and, and you know, um, we're not going to, you know, you brother know what I mean. Right. Like, yeah. You know, having the daily bread and just dealing with whatever comes your way. Yeah. yeah. Then to uh have great treasure. Great treasure. And be fucked off. Be you know, fucked <laughs> off. All type of problems. More money, more problems yeah. and shit, you know. You know brothers not feeling you because you acting like a nigga and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, you just totally you, the brothers could see that that flesh got you, man. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Satan got you. Yeah. So I'd rather deal with what I'm dealing with now, man. You know, and don't, hey, like elder brother say of the camp, don't put too much on you that, you know, mm -hmm. that's not supposed to be on you. Don't, yeah. don't, don't. Add don't, more, more affliction to your yeah, trial. Yeah, that's, that's it. Don't add more affliction to the, to the shit that you already going through, man. Yep. You know, don't force the course of the river, man. Right. Just flow, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need to be doing too, too much, man. Too much, right. man. Right. You know? Just ride it out, man. We, that's all we could do, man. Ride it out, man. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, that's but, it. But at the same time, you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do, Devil. You know? And you know what? Before we go, man, we just drop a couple of see if brothers got some good scriptures. Drop them. Yep. And then um, we're going to close it out after that, man. I know y'all brothers been put a lot. I'm just going to grab some random ones. This is from GMS Salt. Uh, that brother put Exodus 20 and 15. Thou should not steal. Straight to the point. Plain to the Straight point. To the point. Hey, yeah, Barack put that one too, brother. Yeah. Elder Barack put that. That was like the first scripture, brother. Mm -hmm. Elder brother put. Yep, mm -hmm. and then, and that, that brother Jim S. Saw put another one. Leviticus 19 and 11. You should not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. That's another one. Mm -hmm. Um, Let me see. Uh, Let me see. Uh, The brother put... The brother Taziyar, Yahweh 144, put Jeremiah 5 and 26. For amongst my people are found wicked men. They lie wait as they that set a snare. They set a trap. They catch men. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on over here. That's what we don't need to be doing no more. Um, let me see. Uh, Jim has Baltimore topics put Proverbs 22 and 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. And loving favor rather than silver and gold. Mm. Woo, that's a cold one. Mm -hmm. Let me go down a little bit. Uh, you know yeah, I thought I thought the brother had put that one. Yeah. I thought mm -hmm. he had smoky. Uh, uh, that brother Jim and Salt been putting some good ones. Yeah. Sirach 30 and 1. Mm -hmm. Exalt not thyself, least thou fall, mm -hmm. and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so in the most high, discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. So you want to be a thief or do something weird, the most high gonna put you on blast. Mm -hmm. You gonna put you on blast in front of everybody. And then the brother uh Uriah in the camp put uh Sirach 14 and 9. A covetous man I is not satisfied with his portion, and the iniquity of the wicked drive up his soul. Mm. You know? Not satisfied with his portion, man. Yeah, yeah. That's yep. why you want to fucking steal from other brothers and shit. Man. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, but then the brother. The, the elder brother over there in Dallas, Jim S. Sharmoff, put Romans 2 and 23, thou shalt thou that makest thy boast of the law through breaking the law dishonoreth thou the most high. Mm. So you doing all that, man. Uh you dishonoring the most high, man. Yeah. Uh the brother Sirach, I mean the brother Jim S. Sharmoff put another one. Sirach 21 and 8. He that built up his house with other man's money is, is like one that gathereth himself stone for the tomb of his burial. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, man. Hey, this is... Uh, you yeah. got some? Yeah, you this precepts for all brothers to write them down if you need to or whatever. Yeah. Uh, hey, I pretty much... This is mm -hmm. a great millstone. Babylon is done 144. Uh-huh. It says, wisdom is the principal thing Therefore, get wisdom and with all that getting, get understanding. That's important because without wisdom, you won't even know how to handle anything. Right. Mm -hmm. You won't right. know how to handle a brother. You won't know how to deal righteously. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You know, you won't know the things that you need to know to to, to, to to even uh, you know, mm-hmm. to even uh deal with anything, money, anything, yeah. you know, righteously. Yeah. So you need to understand it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you need to understand it. You need to go back to the to the to the law mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. get to understanding how what you. What you supposed to do yep. and what you ain't supposed to do. Right. Yeah. Getting, you know? Getting the books like uh Sirach and exactly. Proverbs and Proverbs. Know how to deal amongst brethren, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As, yep. as yep. well as Jake's in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got another, I got two more then that's I'm uh we're gonna close it out. This uh the brother Taza Yar, Yahweh down one forty four, put Mark nine and forty two. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it was better for him to to it's for that him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast That's into the good. sea, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. So you sh- it should put fear in you not to do to not steal from this man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I'm gonna put the last one, the brother Jim S. Salt. That brother been on fire with the precepts. It says John 13 and 35. By this shall all men know that you are my dice my disciples if you love one to uh, slack it let me read it over by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if you have one uh if you have love one toward another so we supposed to be loving that's how we know that we in the spirit of yahweh shai yahweh by shimei shai is the love that we have towards each other man yeah that goes with that scripture when have we done these things for you lord yeah 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 because once you do it to to your brother, you have done it to your to, yeah. to your man. That's right. That's right. So if you steal, hey, you've done it to your house shot. Mm-hmm. Best believe, vengeance is coming for your ass, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Hey, so yeah, man. All praise y'all, Bashim Shah, for allowing us brothers to get together. Yeah. It was a random and randomness, you know. Yeah. And we, through the Spirit of the Lord, was able to edify and build the elect, and also build ourselves. Yeah. Because when these things happen, things like this happen, it should, it's supposed to put fear in everybody to make sure you on point. Yeah. Because who, we ain't in control of nothing. Yeah. One day you got the Spirit, the next day the Most High decides to take it from you. Yeah. And you being that nigga. Yeah. So these situations, these examples pop up so that we, the, the everybody make sure you stand in check. Yeah. yeah. Staying in check with how you do how you dealing with the word. Go ahead, yeah. Dingala. Yeah. It's good to say rebuke before others so the rest may fear. Bam. Yeah. And that's what's done, man. Yep, yep. No. Yeah. 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 Hey, so with that, we're gonna close it out. Say uh Brock the Yahweh. 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 We're gonna say Shalom Makiam. Stay up out there, man. Just deal truly, man. Fight, fight the flesh, fight the demons that make you do things that's off. That's right. And and do what's right, which is pleasing to the Lord. Shalom Makiam. Shalom.